Right, hello everybody, Southwest Rounders back again, and I uh, thought I'd show you a few different pieces of silver I've collected, and uh, oops, everybody knows the little one ounce skulls, which I think are really really awesome and cool, and you've got a lot a lot of detail, I'll be purchasing the antique version soon as I really like that dark effect and it's just an all round nice piece of chunky one ounce silver which I don't know if you can see that there it's got all the uh, hallmarks and all you should be it's Anyway, I don't think you can see it on camera, but there you go, it's a bit better there. You can see it says uh, 999, and then it's got two stamps, and then the person that actually made it on the top. And you can see all the nice, beautiful pool lines on the back, which I really, really like. And, um, yeah, I thought I'd... Everybody's seen these skulls before anyway, but I thought I'd show you my little one. I'm hoping to get the antique version and the 2 ounce version soon. Or maybe even the 100 gram version, because I'd like to have a bigger skull really. Unfortunately, I can't afford the kilos, because they're a lot of money. But anyway, this is what I wanted to show you. It's this little ounce I bought which is made by Pure and it's a Scottish company and I've not seen a lot of these about on YouTube or even eBay to be honest there's a few for sale but they're far and few between and they're really really glossy you can see it's got some nice little marks on the side and on the top of it some nice little pitting marks on the back because there's one troy ounce 999 fine silver it's got no hallmarks unfortunately but it's a trusted company he's been going for a while now and uh he seems to only make little one ounce bars and in a nice little shape really nice and compact you can see from the actual It's not much bigger than a skull, it's a little bit thinner, but I think this was the actual th first piece I bought, and the stamp prize is really deep, it's nice. I was thinking about leaving it out in the sun a bit so it gets some toning, as I thought it would be really nice to see the effect. And as you all know, the little Monarch Arc Precious Metals which I think are awesome I really really enjoy these I'm going to be getting a few more of these in the future because I don't know the way you pause them and the way they're made with all these stamps and the signature of this design it's just unique be cool if you made bigger ones like say five ounce ones with all this bigger logos on it that would be something I'd really be interested in buying to be honest so that's uh, my little thoughts on some of my little bits of silver and I just like the way it's all curved and nice and smooth all the way around it's got the ripple lines on it so he knows what he's doing when he's pouring it I'd say and the stamps are so deep are uh, like you couldn't misinterpret them for anything else which I think is awesome it's really really nice little chunk of silver even for a little piece of pocket silver which it mostly will be for me because 
they are there there has been there is a lot of them out there but I'd like to increase my stack of quite a few more of these because they're nice and compact and small and you could get away with stacking quite a few of them in your uh, stack to be honest so yeah that's my thoughts on these little bits of silver and I suggest anybody wanting to buy silver go out and buy yourself some pure one ounce bars he's actually from Scotland and I'm in the southwest, as my name goes, Southwest Randoms. So, it's good to have some. It's in the UK that's making nice little chunky small rectangle bars. And, yeah. It's a nice little, little, little. I wouldn't call it a loaf of such, but it has got a little ripple line at the top where it's been pulled slightly over, but... He's had to do that just to get a proper troy ounce. So yeah. There are my thoughts on my little pieces I've collected over the last couple of weeks. And the skull was just so shiny, it's you cannot have a, you, you couldn't have you couldn't not have a skull in your collection because who doesn't like a skull? And these three pieces are I'd say a must have, especially if you're in the UK and you want to support UK silver pours, like the pure. So get online. I bought all these off eBay. And most people don't like buying off eBay because it could be fake, it could not be fake. But at the end of the day, just research the trusted sellers like Jaeger Paul Silver. He's got a you, he's got a um, eBay account doing it, and uh, a few other well-known silver pours have got their own specific eBay um, channel which they sell off. So I suggest going with a well reputable company, as I'm still new to this as well, and I've had to do my research, and I thought one of my pieces was fake, but. Big up to Silver Forum to uh, all their information. They're a big group of guys that help you out with any little inquiry. So head over to Silver Forum, and uh, they will help you out any with any little query or question. I've recently joined them, and they've they're a really good group of guys. So um. Yeah, it'd be really cool if you could hit that subscribe button to help my channel grow because I'm still new to this and doing YouTube and all. So, this is Southwest Randoms out. Don't forget to click the thumbs up button, and there'll be more content coming shortly. I'm trying to do a video every other day, so at least you'll get a couple of videos a week of uh, me, my thoughts, and uh, some of my silver bits. So, I'm looking into pouring my own silver shortly, so I'll be doing videos on that as well. So uh, stay tuned for more. Hit the notification button when you subscribe, and you'll be able to see all my content coming up soon. Ciao for now. Southwest Randoms out. Hope you have a good stacking. Bye, the community.